All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, Call him La Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honor being two, the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And a Shalom to you, Ankim out there that's pushing his truth through his spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Okay, so this is going to be a quick lesson titled Society as they know it is about to change. Okay, society as these people know it is about to make a turn for the worse. You know, and, um, you know, we're pr approaching Jacob's trouble, you know, and uh, this year, 2024, you know, has been a one hell of a year, you know, more talks of uh, World War Three. You know, the uh, more talks of the MOTB, you know, dealing with the Neuralink and things of that nature. And, um, you know, the elder Pastor Har through the spirit, he deemed his year 2024 to be the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. You know, and, uh, you know, we hope, you know, that all hell breaks loose very, very soon. You know, but uh, as far as the lives of these people go, you know, their life is about to make a you know, like the movie, you know, a wrong turn, you know, it's about to get very, very bitter out here. And these people that have been, you know, you know, given over indulging the flesh, you know, um, you know, uh, the ones that are, you know, stuck on Babylon, you know, hey, man, they're they're through, you know, especially our people, you know, especially Jake, you know, because Jake. You know, a lot of our people, they don't realize that they're in captivity. They don't realize that, you know, we're behind enemy lines. But, you know, by the grace, you know, of Yahabba Shemal Shai, you know, he has, you know, he woke us up, you know, and allowed us to get this knowledge and wisdom understanding and know, you know, what's, what, uh, what uh, situation that we're living in, you know? So, hey, man, call like y'all about Shimon Shai for that, you know, because it's mercy from the Lord to even, you know, uh, have us, you know, uh, that's why the, that's why the, the scriptures say how Shai said in Matthew 13, bless your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear, you know, and a lot of our people, you know, um, the Lord is not the, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord hasn't opened them up, you know, to uh, receive this, you know, this, uh, you know, this wisdom, you know. But, yeah, the point is, you know. In these days that, you know, in these last days, you know, we are, you know, we're going to, hey, man, it's, it's only going to get worse, you know, and uh, Jacob's trouble is soon approaching. So real quickly, let's grab this. This is the book of Second Timothy, chapter three, verse one. And it reads this note also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And then if, and if you don't know, hey, man, we're living the last days of the last days. You know, wickedness is at an all time high. You know, adultery is, is, is oh, man, it's ridiculous. Women are completely out of order. You know, the men are just simping now and allowing women to be how they are. You know, you having children, you know, uh, being told that they can change their natural sex and you know, this place is, 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 is hell, man. We're living in hell, you know? And if people don't believe that this is hell, then, hey, man, you are tripping, okay? Because if you can't see all the demonic activities that's going on here in Babylon, then, hey, man, I don't know what to tell you, man, then you're just through, okay? And we are definitely living in the last days because pursuant to the book of Matthew 24, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, told us about, about the signs that would be, you know, uh, the main indicators, you know, upon his second, you know, return, upon his upon his uh, um, his, his uh, arrival, you see, and which some of the uh, signs is, you know, famines, you know, earthquakes, pestilences, you know, false prophets, okay, um, a nation against a nation, all right, you know, and, and guess what, we're seeing these things come to pass. So we are definitely living the last days of the last days. 
And right here it says, Second Timothy, Second Timothy, Second Timothy three one. Excuse me. It says, No, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Now that word perilous, we can go into it in the Blue Letter Bible. The word perilous means um, troublesome, dangerous, harsh, fierce, or savage. You see, so a very dangerous times are upon us. You know. And one of the major prophecies that is upon that 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 is soon going to be fulfilled is what Jacob's trouble, okay? And like the scriptures say, it's going to be no day like it. Let's snag that. Let's snag that real quick, okay? Because um, you know, like I was saying earlier, it's a blessing that the Lord woke us up because you know we could have been in the world, you know, like a, a Gentile Jake not knowing what's going on, you know, uh, completely oblivious. To his surroundings, you know, or, the, you know, their surroundings, you know, and completely, you know, unaware of the prophecies that are about to take place here on earth, you know. So real quick. This is. um. Actually, let's read this in the NLT. This is um Jeremiah 30 and verse six to verse seven, and it says, now let me ask you a question. Do men give birth to babies? Then why do they stand there ashen faced hands pressed against their sides like a woman in labor? You see, so that's how bad it's going to get. Because you're going to have men and grown as men being scared like a woman, you know, as if they were, you know, uh, giving, you know, birth to a child. You see, that's how, you know, um, eerie and how, you know, horrific Jacob Trouble is going to be to the point where grown men are going to be. You know, scared. You grown men are gonna be, you know, afraid for their lives. Okay. And it says, verse seven. In all history, there has never been such a time of terror. You see, and that's why the lesson is called society as they know it is about to change. And the reason why I said they know it is because these people out here, you know, Jake, you know, the heathen, Esau, so on and so forth. Society right now, you know, it, it's uh, all about convenience, right? It's all about comfortability. It's all about, you know, being coddled. You, you know, that's what a, that's what Babylon has done to these people. But soon, all the amenities, all the festivities, the partying and bullshit is going to get coming to a, a complete stop. Okay. Everything you see right now is going to come to a complete stop. And a, good, and a good example, back in 2020, you know, when that whole, you know, scenario went down, okay, every, the, the whole world stopped, okay, the mirth, the mirth was completely stripped from Babylon, okay, smiles turned to frowns, you know, partying turned into no more partying, pleasure turned to pain, you see, so imagine that times 100, you see. So society as they know it is about to completely make a, 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 a 180, okay? Back in Jeremiah 37 in the NLT, and it says, in all history, okay? In all history, all right? Just, just think about that right there. In all history, there has never been such a time of terror, you see? So this is going to be a new thing in the earth that's why it says in the kjv version it says so it says for that day is great so that none is like it and in the kjv version we go into the word great the, the word great there means intense so it's going to be very intense you know in this in this uh in this uh, during that season of judgment during jacob's trouble okay it's going to be judgment on all sides man you know, just imagine the movies that you have seen throughout the years, you know, movies like Bushwick, movies like The Road, you know, movies like The Book of Eli, movies like um, The Purge, for example. That, that's a great example. You know, imagine now all in one. OK, it's going to be hell out here, man. You see, and that's why, you know, now is the time to get right with the Habashimah Shah repent. Because you don't want to be on 
you know, on the losing team. You don't want to be in the bad side of the Lord when things pop off. You want to be in good graces, you know, in, in the good grace of Yahweh Shema Shai. You know, now, of course, we were under a grace period because of Yahweh Shai, you know, but hey, a lot of Jake's out here are going to be destroyed because they're not serving Yahweh Shema Shai because they're wicked, because they're two thirds, you see? So that's why it's called Jake of Trouble. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be as if, Jake, you know, Jake is, is then or being extinct, man. Okay. Uh, back in Jeremiah 37 in the NLT, and it says, In all history, there has never been such a time of terror. It will be a time of trouble for my people Israel. You see? And who was the Lord's people? Those so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and Seminole Indians. Okay, and, and, and also, too, the Israelites that may look like other nations, the Israelite foreigners who have been scattered across the, you know, the, the four winds of the earth. But their bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you see. So even the Jakes that <laughs> that look like, you know, uh, heathen, hey, they're they going to go through it, too, you see. And it says, yet in the end, they will be saved. And who will be saved? The elect, you see. The elect will be saved from the perils, from the destruction, from the famines, from the um, the judgment that is about to be bestowed upon Babylon. And to prove that, let's go to Ezekiel chapter nine and verse four. And it's lucky for the rain in the background. I'm in the car right now and it's raining outside. This is Ezekiel nine and verse four. It says, and the Lord said unto him. Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that signed that cry. Right now, that mark is not carnal. This mark that's in Ezekiel 9 4 is spiritual. It's a spiritual mark. Okay? It says, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that signed that cry. And that mark right here in Ezekiel, in Ezekiel 9 4. The, the, word, the word there for mark, it means the wah in the Hebrew, which means to be exempt from judgment. So the elect are already going to be exempt from any harsh judgment. OK, that is a, that is coming upon Babylon, these people, because the judgment is not for the elect. The judgment is, is for the wickedness out here. It's for the, 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 you know, the wicked people out here. OK, the ones that do wrong, the ones that are not examining themselves, the ones that you know, are, are, you know, faithless and don't believe in Yahweh about Shema Shai. That's what the judgment's for. You see, not for the elect. They're good. And it says that sign that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of. And, and, and that's right. You know, the men, the Lord, us hopefully elect, we sign cry, you know, about the ways of uh, the ways of society today. You know, it's upside down, man. It's completely out of order and out of course, you see, but people here, you know, they love it, you know, they, you know, they don't mind, you know, uh, dealing with wickedness. That's why society as they know is going to change, you know, a lot of people is going to get a wake up call. All right. A lot of people out here in Babylon that's lackadaisical, you know, and just stuck on Babylon. They're going to get a rude awakening from me. How about Shemal Shai? You know, and that's why he says this real quick. Let's snag this. This is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse one. It says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Right. Because we know what's up. You know, us believers, you know, us, us, you know, hopeful, faithful men of Yahweh Shemal Shai. You see, we know the times we're living in, right? So, hey, there's no need that we gotta, that I, that I gotta put you on, right? You, you should already know. Verse two, it says, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, how it shy, so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, okay, these people out here, right? Then sudden destruction cometh upon them at travail upon a woman with child and they should not escape. And, 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 and you know, Trump, he just got reelected, you know, um, to be the president of, of Babylon, you know, 
and a lot of and a lot of people, you know, they see Trump as, you know, their savior as, you know, that last bit of hope for Babylon. But hey, that's them saying peace and safety. But soon, hey man, all hell all hell is about to break loose, you know, and Babylon is gonna turn from, you know, this soft, cuddly tele a teddy bear into a a a um into a gruesome grizzly bear. You know, for lack of for lack of better words, you know, these people are here for a rude awakening, man. Es Esau is about to attack, man. OK, he's about to come hard and, and everybody, man. He's, he's about to implement the MOTB. You know, if you take it, you know, hey, man, you know, that's your demise. You're going to you're going to die in the lake of fire. You see, but if you don't take it, hey, man, hey, uh, uh, then hey, I, I say like this. The people that do take it, they're going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, you see. But the ones that don't take it, you know, and that's the hopeful elect, you know, the, the, men's that, that, the men that are not going to bow down to the image of Baal, you know, and that's believers. Hey, man, the Lord is going to protect us, man. The Lord is going to, you know, do right by us, you see. But the people out here that take it and trust and trust in Esau and trust in Babylon, they are through. OK, so, hey, man, you know. Right now, you know, people are saying peace and safety because everything is still functioning. Everything is still up and running. But there's going to come a point in time when Jacob's trouble is going to happen. You know, and shit's going to hit the fan. OK. And we're going to soon see, you know, see these people with true colors, man. And it's going to be a day, not a day not like it. OK. First Thessalonians 5 and 3. And it says, um, for when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. Just like that movie, I believe, with Owen Wilson, it's called No Escape, you know? You know, in, in that movie, that basically in that whole movie, he, he had Esau running away from judgment. And that's how it's going to be, you know, in these last days. These people are, are going to be running away from judgment, but guess what? They're not going to escape. You see, like the, like, like the scriptures say, they shall flee from a um a bear. Uh, no, they shall flee from a lion and run to a run to a bear. They shall flee from a bear and then go into a house and 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 then let me get it real quick. Let me get it real quick. Um let's see. All right, this is um uh, Amos 5 and 19. It says as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and, and leaned his hand on, on the wall and a serpent bit him. So ultimately, what does that mean? That, hey, man, you can't be, you're not going to be able to escape from the judgment that Yahweh Shemal Shai has in store for, for, you know, for you. OK, for these people out here. So, hey, man, for them, it's a lose lose. OK. So, yeah, man, you know. A hey, Lord's will, this lesson was edifying to the sheep of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You know, and uh, yeah, man, you know, uh, this lesson was titled Society as they know it is about to change. Okay? You know, and these people, man, they're not gonna escape, you know, they're not gonna going to be able to escape the judgment of the Lord, even even if they tried. Because ultimately ultimately, if you're not the elect, then you are through, you are finished. Okay. So, Lord's word, this lesson was edifying to the Lord's sheep. Lord's word, the Lord's sheep was fed. And I just want to say, Koho Lang Mala, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Kakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And I shall allow to you, Anki Ma, there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Kakwadash. And with that being said, Shalom.